Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Erica. This is the third video I post this week. Who am I? <laughs> but I really hope that you all have enjoyed the content that I put out this week. I know it doesn't have to do with decluttering. I just have been working on a lot of other things and I haven't finished up unpacking yet. I am probably the slowest unpacker in the world. <laughs> but um, there's just so many other things that we've been doing. I promise you there's going to be some more decluttering videos coming up. I really, really need to do my pantry. I still have food and spices in boxes that I really need to get to. I think about them all the time. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. But thank you for bearing with me during this phase of transition, but um, we're getting there. We're absolutely getting there. I have another series coming on my channel very soon, maybe within the next two, two weeks or so. Um, I think you all are going to love it and I can't wait to share that with you. But in today's video, I am going to be doing some cleaning that I don't like to normally do. And as you know, I hate to clean showers, so I definitely avoid my showers for as long as I can. But a company sent me an amazing tool that is going to help out with that problem so, so much. And I cannot wait to share that with you. And this is just a heads up, I'm being fully transparent. There are two products that I am going to be talking about in this video, and that's because those products go hand in hand. I can use them both in the bathroom. So I'm gonna be doing some shower cleaning and then some toilet cleaning with a, a new uh, cleaning tab that a company sent me. And I'm always looking for the next best thing. As you know, lately I've been cleaning my toilets with Dawn. I've experimented cleaning my toilets with dishwasher pods and that's why I was really interested in these um, toilet tabs. Other than cleaning my showers and toilets, I'm not too sure what else I'm going to get myself into but um, as the video goes on and as I film it, um, we will figure it all out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this video. I am taking you into my kids bathroom. This is also the main bathroom in this home. We downsized from having three bathrooms to two bathrooms and we definitely do fill it a bit. The kids fight for the shower. They both insist on taking a shower only in this bathroom, which I'm not going to complain about because I have my shower to myself now. But uh, a funny story is that when we first started coming to this house, there's a piece of rusted metal in the shower and they were both so scared of it because they thought they were going to get tetanus. <laughs> Um, just give them a year and now they don't care about it. I eventually love to get this shower redone. It really needs it. it. Everything is original from the house when it was built and I believe this house was built in 1995, something like that. Um, you can see my clam sink. <laughs> it's really 90s style. So hopefully in the near future I can convince my husband to retile this bathroom. Um, I think it would look great if it was updated. I'm getting ready to use the new toilet bowl cleaner that I was sent by a company called Back Plus. This toilet cleaner is something that will help maintain the cleanliness of your toilet. It is not a replacement for cleaning your toilet. Shucks, right? <laughs> but these are long lasting tablets. Each toilet cleaner tablet lasts about five to seven days. There are 12 tablets in the box and this is enough for a two to four month supply. Back Plus has another option available and that is a tab with bleach in it. I don't know about you, but I love putting bleach into my toilet in between cleanings. So this particular tab would avoid me having having to put bleach into my toilet because it will already be done for me. Back Plus has an Amazon store which makes this even better because it's something that's easily attainable to you. And I'll go ahead and link down in my description box these two items. Um, I'll show you later on in the video how I use the Clorox tab in my bathroom. But this is a great product and I'm really excited to add this as part of my cleaning routine. So thank you Back Plus for sending me this product.
I bought this shampoo for my daughter at Costco and it works so, so well on her hair. She has really wavy, coarse hair, very frizzy, and this really helps tame it down. Her hair is so soft and shiny, so I really recommend this if you're looking for a shampoo that's inexpensive. Um, it's the Kirkland's brand. And then for my son, I bought him this one. It's a tea tree shampoo, and that's because he has a really dry scalp. Um, and when he goes to get haircuts, they always tell me he needs tea tree oil, he needs tea tree shampoo. So I finally bought this one at Marshall's. I did buy a tea tree shampoo at Supercuts, but it's packed away somewhere. So I was like, okay, I'm not even gonna look for it. I'm just gonna buy this. It was a three piece set shampoo, conditioner, and then a leave-in conditioner. And he's been using this lately. This shower is really small and we don't have a lot of space for these big bottles. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I really want something here. And when I was in Arizona, I had these um, wire shelves in my shower that a company sent to me and they worked really well so I'm honestly thinking about going and buying some of those and putting them here because they do hold up really well and I can customize the height for Ileana and Mikey. Um, the one that I just had up on there, I knew it was going to fall off so I tugged on it myself just to see if maybe it would stay or if I gave it a little force if it would fall and it fell. So that's not going to go there. Um, I'll probably get onto Amazon tonight and look for the wire shelves that I had before um, because this situation here is not working for me. <laughs> um, I don't think it works for the kids either so we will get back to the drawing board on that. I'm now going to set myself up to clean my tub. I'm going to be using my new rotary spin brush from a company called Lightwish. Let me go ahead and tell you what I'm doing. So what I just did is I filled this with water that way when I'm cleaning I don't have to have the shower on or anything like that. Water will come out of here. I just have to push this button right here and it'll dispense the water. I'm using a cleaner of my choice. Of course, you can put anything inside of this that you want. Um, I would say you can put probably put Pine Sol, an all-purpose cleaner. I decided to use my Young Living Thieves household cleaner. I've been using that um, to clean up my counters and I really do like it. So that's what I'm using in my spin brush. Now there is an attachment for the corners. What I'm going to do when it's time to clean the corners is just pull this off and put the corner attachment on. So you'll see me do that in just a bit, but this is how easy it is to put the attachment on and to take it off. It's ready to go and that's the spin function. So no more scrubbing. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clean this shower now. If you can't already tell, this spin brush is amazing. Let me go ahead and talk to you about a few of the features of this spin brush. This spin brush has interchangeable heads, which really makes cleaning hassle free because you can customize it to your cleaning project. I used it in my tub, I used it on the sink, my stove, and I even cleaned a piece of carpet with this spin brush. It has a large 65 milliliter water reservoir and this is really nice because you don't have to worry about your water source to fund your cleaning project. <laughs> it's right there at the tip of your hands. All you have to do is push a button and water is released. It does have a two speed motor so you can choose the right amount of power to improve your cleaning efficiency. It is also waterproof and this is why I felt really comfortable using it in my tub and also in my sink. It does charge with a USB charger. Of course that is not something that you can submerse in water. 
overall I am really impressed with this spin brush. I'm so excited to use it on some upcoming projects that I know are going to be hard. But with this spin brush, I feel like they are going to be a breeze. This tool would also be extremely useful for any of you who have problems with your hands. I can see this being completely beneficial to you. I do have a 20% off discount code and this is also a product that's available on Amazon which makes me really happy because it's something that you can easily attain. So I'll go ahead and link all of the information down below in the description box. Thank you Lightwish for sending me this amazing product and allowing me to share it with my viewers. Maybe I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all So I try to be patient Cause nothing's written on the wall Yeah, it's too soon to mention How I've begun to feel That I want your attention I decided to clean my tub with baking soda and Dawn I love this mixture and the spin brush made a really nice paste with it and this is something that has never happened to me when I use my hands so I was loving it. I'm going to go ahead and put all the shampoo back into the shower as best as I can until I find a new hanging system that I think will work for the kids. I'm going to use the same mix of baking soda and Dawn in the sink. This sink really needs to get a good scrub and I'm so excited to use the spin brush to get this job done. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder dirty icky stuff underneath the faucet and I had been eyeing it and I knew it was something that I could not just clean up without taking off the faucet uh, knob. So I have never done this. I just decided to try and voila it came off and check this out. 
it is so disgusting that is like all the yucky buildup that was under there so I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and I'm so glad that I did this because it was really bothering me every time that I would look at this faucet to display toilet paper here it's a decoration and it's something that can be used but our toilet paper ran out and we have a bunch up in the loft in our garage so my husband had to go and take some down and he didn't do that until later in the evening so I just left this empty I've had to start using tall trash cans in my home and trash cans that close and have a lid because one of my dogs, Nikki, loves to get into the trash can and it's absolutely gross. <laughs> um, every now and then we see the door moving, somebody's going into the bathroom. There's no person, it's just a little dog. So to avoid her getting into the trash can, I have to keep just trash cans that are dog friendly now. I'm going to use this set of toilet bowl cleaner in my bathroom and this one does have bleach in it and I can smell the bleach when I open the box. The instructions say to wear a glove when you do this so I'm going to wear a glove and uh, let's see how this works. I don't normally wear gloves but I need to start wearing gloves when I'm cleaning. But um, these are latex gloves and my father-in-law gave them to me so I'm going to use these. I'm just wearing one glove because I'm only going to be touching the tablet with one hand. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to throw it into the tank and you let it dissolve for about 15 minutes. And that's it. You can flush. Easy peasy. So much we said, so much we 
I had to make a big decision this day. Do I clean my bathtub or do I clean my house? The kids were away at karate. My husband gave me some time so I could finish filming my video. And in that moment when they left, I only had a bathroom cleaned and the entire house was a disaster. So I made a big decision to just clean my house and wait on the tub. I just could not function having a house like this in the evening. I felt like I would have been even more stressed out because I had to make dinner. I had to get this video edited and my house would have been a disaster. So I just had to really be realistic with myself and what it is I wanted to accomplish. And I just really felt like I wanted to just get my house tidied up and cleaned. That way I could enjoy the evening with my family, whatever evening it was that I had left with them because like I said, I had to edit this video. So I sat on the table most of the evening editing this video. It's now the next day and I'm still trying to finish it up, but that's mom life for you. You just kind of work when and where you can. How are you all doing? I know that I read in the comments that some of you are going through some hard times right now and I feel like a lot of us are and there's just things that we don't talk about but just know that I'm here for you. I show up week after week and believe me posting videos sometimes for me is very trialsome. <laughs> I feel like there's something out there that wants to keep me from achieving my dreams and my goals but um, for whatever reason I just keep powering through and I, I just keep coming back and trying to be consistent. I know that um Last week was a really stressful week for me. I didn't eat very much last week. I probably ate a total of five times throughout the entire week, which is not good. I am not taking care of myself. I, I really need to start focusing on my health and just taking care of myself because I know that if I'm not here, then who's going to take care of my children. Of course, dad is here, but there's nothing like a mother's touch when it comes to the home and to the children. So I know that I need to put myself in check. I actually downloaded Audible last week. That way I can start reading some books and just try to change my mindset about certain things that are going on in my life. And I'm really hoping that that helps out. I started listening to one book already and the name of that book is Six Habits That Can Change Your Life. I believe that's the name of the book. So um, as I learn more and navigate through this season of life, I will definitely share with you what I'm learning. Just know that I am here for you. You're going to see me shuffle a couple of things around and that's because my husband helps me wash dishes and put dishes away and he doesn't put them in the right place. It doesn't bother me. I'm so glad that he's helping so I just put them where they belong. One of my viewers mentioned that I should get a basket for on top of my fridge. I thought that that was a great suggestion 
because of space purposes and so I finally found one that I liked and it's this one here and I bought it at Marshalls. I keep a lot of my things in there. There's my shakes and vitamins and anything that I would put into my shake like my peanut butter powder. I started doing a new diet plan and I'll talk to you about that later. Like I said last week I kind of fell off the boat with that but I need to get back on it. So I keep everything in there and it works out so so well. So definitely if you have any tips for me let me know if they work I can definitely use them I got some new pillows for my couch and they're the white pillows that you see on there everything hasn't come together yet so that's just a piece of the puzzle <laughs> eventually I'll find some other ones that I need I also got some seat covers I'm gonna be switching those out for a darker gray I really really don't like having to cover my sofas but I have two dogs and just yesterday one of them threw up on the couch so the seat cover saved my couch so for now, it's just something that I have to do. It doesn't look the best, but you know, it's needed. I was putting out all of my Halloween decor because I took it to my mother-in-law's house for some food reels that we've been making and we needed some type of decor, so I borrowed my own. And this is what the house is looking like now. It looks so much better. We ended up picking up dinner and we ate and I got to editing. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you got some motivation from it. Just remember, sometimes things are not going to go as planned, but we just have to go with it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye. My sense again, your guys' plan didn't work. Are you recording me? Say hi. Hi. I was just smack talking.